Hey folks, this is Shock, and I have some very good news for you. The atheists just lost a lawsuit where they were trying to stop Christians from praying. They were trying to stop Governor Perry's prayer event. And um, Dan Barker, who is an atheist that uh, constantly loses debate to Christians, I'll go ahead and I'll give you a website where you can see him losing over and over. He's not a good debater at all. Um, he is the founder of the uh, organization, this atheist organization. Look what he said. He doesn't want people to pray, right? He says, it says, according to Dan Barker, co-director of the foundation, or co-director of the foundation, I should say, he says, the answers of America's problems won't be found on our knees or in heaven, but by using our brains, our reason, and in compassionate action. Now, how is it compassionate to stop Christians from praying? That's not compassionate. That's, uh, that's like communism. Governor Perry's detasteful use of his civil office to plan and dictate a religious course of action to all citizens is deeply offensive. No atheist, your atheism is deeply offensive to us. Do you know not one of the founders was atheist? Do you know that? Do you know that they signed a document, the Declaration, uh, which said that all men are created equal, that they're endowed by their creator? And they talked about the God of nature and nature is God. Do you know that? Well, you notice here Dan Barker says that... Um, let me scroll up. I want to read this here. Here it is. It says, The complaint contends that Perry violated the Establishment Clause of the First Amendment by organizing and promoting the Christian event. That's not what the First Amendment says. The First Amendment does not say that Governor Perry can't be a Christian and organize events. It doesn't say that at all. I predicted this case would be thrown out. This was on July 14th when it started. These atheists, are they're good at two things. Losing debates and losing court, court cases. So let's go to the court case and here's the good news. Uh, the atheists are not able to stop prayer. Check this out. Here it is right here. Judge tosses suit seeking to stop Governor Perry's sponsorship of Texas ra prayer rally. So the, the judge basically just laughed in the atheist's face and threw out the court case. It says a federal judge dismissed a lawsuit that sought to stop Governor Rick Perry from sponsoring a National Day of Christian Prayer and Fasting. He ruled Thursday that the group of atheists and agnostics did not have legal standing to sue. You get that, atheist? He ain't going to stop us from praying. Get used to it. Now, um, this is really, really good news. Uh, so... This is another court case that atheists lost. You know, I've been debating atheists. Let me show you a website. Um, I've been debating atheists in this website right here at shockanow.net. See right here at the top? Shockanow.net. And when you go there, you'll see this button that says chat now. And um, you can debate me. And we've, we've conquered 42 atheists in a row in debate. Um, evidently, their teapots, Santa Claus, and leprechauns just don't seem to make rational sense to people, and people aren't buying into it. Also, check out this debate here, this video recorded, where Christopher Hitchens loses in debate. He's an atheist. Check out this atheist here who converted to Christianity because he could not find any proof and evidence that atheism was even true at all. He's like me. I was an atheist, guys. I left atheism because the lack of proof and evidence. If you want your own free chat room, you can click there. This is a great book to get here. Um, here's more proof of God, Bikers Against Child Abuse, even more proof of God, Errors and Lies of Evolution Exposed, Resources for Leaving Atheism, Proof that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, great resources for atheism here. Here's another atheist, Peter Atkins, just gets humiliated in debate. Uh, versus Dr. William Lane Craig. And then my favorite, funny satire and comedy of atheism. I guarantee you, if you click this, you're going to die laughing. There's all types of funny things. If you want to get your free video conferencing chat room like I have, you can click that. Um, by the way, um, if you want to chat with us, you go there, shockanow.net, right here at the top of the page. Click chat now. 
you want to get some free stuff, check this out. This is really cool. Click here where it says free stuff. Now when you click free stuff, I have all types of really cool free software and games here. Um, this will speed up your games with Game Booster. You can back up your entire YouTube channel here. There's a software program that does that for you. You want to uh, defrag your disk on your uh, computer. There's free antivirus programs, free conference room, free game called America's Army, Adaware, which is free anti-spyware malware remover, more free games there. And then if you want to buy a game but you don't know if your system could run it, you click here and it tests your PC to see if you can run a game. Even more free software. Uh, this right here, I like this. I use it all the time. It's called House Call. It's a online uh, virus and spyware remover that's free. All these things are free. Operation Dragon Rising demo. If you're a gamer, you'll like that. And then get Arma 2 free here. So, um, Also, here's our schedule of events. Here's different podcasts. Oh, let me show you this. Let's go to Music and Podcasts. Watch this. You click up here, Music and Podcasts. Now, listen to this debate here where Lawrence Krauss, he's an atheist, he admits that um, it is plausible that God can exist. He admits that God can exist, and it's actually plausible, and he's an atheist. He admits that in debate. He loses that debate, by the way. Um, this is really good, how evolution drove me to believe in God. You should read that. This is a radio show that I did. You can listen to that. I do a little radio show. This is a debate where atheist Din admits that atheism does terrible things. You'll hear that. Uh, this is Jesus. This is uh, Jesus' passion, hyper history. William Lane Craig talks on that. Evidence for Christianity. How did the universe begin? William Lane Craig. William Lane Craig versus Peter Atkins. In this debate. Uh, I, my mind's like a steel trap, guys. I got all this memorized. <laughs> In this debate, Peter Atkins admits that the universe does appear designed. He admits it. William Lane Craig versus Richard Carrier. Uh, he, Carrier loses there. And this is part one of two of Carrier's debate. And then let's go to page two. Let's go to page two. Here we are. Did Jesus rise from the dead? This is Craig versus Shabir Ali. Um, Craig debates a Muslim, and the Muslim loses in this debate. This one here is excellent. You've got to listen to this. This is Paul Copan. Now, um, I've uh, talked in my chat room with Paul Copan's son, and they're very, very nice people. Um, I've talked to Paul Copan's son, and his dad is the author of this book, Is God a Moral Monster? It is excellent. And this is an interview with Paul Copan, a brilliant man, a very nice person. You can go to his website right here. In this debate here, Sam Harris loses the debate to William Lane Craig. Now, this is a debate. The audio gets better once it starts. It was Craig versus D'Souza. Now, this is not Danish D'Souza. This is another D'Souza. And in the debate, the atheist starts cussing. You can't believe it. It's hilarious. This is a radio show I did on uh, the National Atheist Day, April 1st. I did a show there. This is like a comedy show. You should check it out. That's a radio show. I get a lot of compliments on this one, guys. You'll love it. This is um, a debate we did, Proof God Exists, live debate, Christian versus atheist. Um, this is really great. I take live calls from atheists that are confused, and I you know, unbrainwash them. Um, this is another live debate, Proof God Exists. Look, I can go on and on and on. There's a good study proving that most atheists do become Christians, and that's true. I used to be an atheist. So anyways, guys, check out my website at shockanow.net. But this is good news. Here it is. Judge, judge tosses the lawsuit out that the atheists had. The atheists lose another court suit. 